Hey guys, so today we're checking out the Body Armor 4x4 rear bumper fitting all 2020 and newer Gladiator JTs. Now this will be for the JT owner looking for a sleek way to gain some more heavy duty protection and some better clearance to the rear end of their truck for daily driving or any off-roading adventures. Now this will also be a great pick if you need some better utility than the factory rear bumper had to offer and the ability to mount up rear end lighting for better visibility when backing up. This rear bumper will feature welded D-ring mounts, one on either side, which will be a solid recovery point for any sticky situations out on the trail. Also on either side, you'll have two large cutouts that'll be able to mount up whatever LED cube lights that you choose, so you can customize the lighting to your own personal preference. Now what I think is notable is the upward angles on each end, assisting in better departure angle clearance and going to give a well-fitted appearance to the bumper. Not to mention, this will allow you to keep some factory features, including the OE hitch, the hitch plug, and rear parking sensors, so you don't have to compromise when adding this to your build. The bumper will have a full 316 inch steel plate construction, being able to take a hit when needed. Now on top, this is also going to have a two-stage black powder coat finish to resist any rusting and offering that premium appearance while matching any other black accessories that you already have on your JT. Now additionally, the bumper is bolt-on with no modification required, offering a straightforward install. Price on this will come in at roughly $600 all said and done, which I think is a good price point for what you're getting here. Now when putting this side by side with other options available on the site, this will have some incredibly sleek styling, it's going to have higher clearance as far as the design and the ends are concerned, and a decent amount of utility. Now on one end, the other more cost effective choices may not come with everything that you see here including the light mounting options, and then on the pricier side, some may come with the lights included in the kit or additional features like a super low profile construction. Now I think this is right in the middle of the category offering all the features that you would need in a premium looking rear bumper, so if that's what you're in search of, this is definitely a great pick. Install will be a lighter two out of three wrenches on the difficulty meter, taking you about two hours to get the job done with some basic hand tools. Now at this point we can head over to the shop and check out a detailed breakdown of the install. So that's going to wrap it up for me. Let's go ahead and get into it. Tools required for this install include an impact gun, a ratchet, a 19 millimeter wrench, a 21 millimeter ratcheting wrench, a flathead screwdriver, a clip remover tool, an extension, a swivel, 10, 16, and 19 millimeter sockets, and a shallow 19 millimeter socket. What's up guys? Today we're installing a rear bumper on our Gladiator. So first we're gonna watch a quick little video on how to remove the stock bumper and then I'll meet you right back here for the install. So the first step to removing our rear bumper is to remove the license plate. Now I'm gonna use a 10 millimeter socket in order to do that. However, depending on the hardware that you have mounted up for your license plate, your tool may depend. So using that 10 millimeter socket, I'm just gonna remove the two bolts on top. And then once we remove the license plate, that's gonna expose two bolts in the middle. Next with the 16 millimeter socket, we can remove these two bolts that are holding on the center part of our rear bumper. Next, now that we're underneath the truck, what we can do is disconnect our hitch plug wire. So you just have to depress that clip and pull back. You want to make sure that there's no clip that is secured to the bumper. If so, you are going to need a trim removal tool or a clip removal tool. There may be a Christmas tree clip that holds this uh, to the bumper and also to the frame. You just want to make sure that it's disconnected from the bumper. Next, we can disconnect the license plate light wiring harness. So I'm just going to depress that clip and pull back. Now all we just have to do is press down and pull back. And then what we can do next is take a clip removal tool and just make sure that the wiring harness that's coming out of the bumper is disconnected from the frame. We don't want the frame and the bumper connection because if we pull back on the bumper, it's still gonna be connected with this wiring harness. So I'm just gonna use a clip removal tool and we can disconnect that from the frame. 
And then our next step is to disconnect the bumper at the frame itself. With a 16 millimeter socket, we can remove the two nuts on either side that are holding the bumper to the frame rail right here. Then we can repeat that on the other side. Now that everything's disconnected, what we can do is completely remove the bumper from the Jeep. So we're just going to grab the bumper and pull back. Now, if you do have a different trim level, there may be a couple more bolts. You may have two more down here. However, that should basically do it as far as the attachment system from the bumper to the Jeep. So now finally, we can remove our tow hitch. We have two 21 millimeter bolts here that we can use a 21 millimeter ratcheting wrench to remove. And then once we have them loose, we can just twist them out the rest of the way by hand. Now before we start assembling our new bumper, we do have a couple things that we have to transfer over from our stock bumper. So we have to pop out our two license plate lights and the electrical hookups for our tow hitch. Now both of these can both be easily popped out with a flathead screwdriver, so I'll show you how to do that next. So first we'll remove our tow hookup. So we have two silver clips, one on each side. So let's grab a flathead, push in on one side, and then push in on the other side. And then that'll pop out just like that. Now for our license plate lights, we have our electrical connector right here. And then right behind that, we have this tab that we can press in with a flathead screwdriver and then push it forward. And then we'll do the same thing for our other light. Now finally, we need to pop off this wiring harness so that we can plug it into our new bumper. So we'll get a clip remover tool and pop all these out. So now we can begin to assemble our new bumper. So we'll pop in our license plate lights, our tow hitch receiver, and then for our parking sensors, we don't have any on our stock Gladiator. So we're gonna be installing these caps over top. If you do have parking sensors, then you would swap over your parking sensors, push them from the inside, and then on the back, you would use a foam washer and then a foam spacer, and then our cap over top, just like that. So now we can install our license plate lights. You wanna make sure that your connector is facing backwards so that's easy to plug in. And if you forget that, they're also labeled with a right and left. So we're gonna angle our connector in first, and then just pop it into place. And we'll do the same thing for our other license plate light. Next, we're gonna install the caps for our sensors. And now we can press in our tow hitch hookup. So our next step is to install our mounting studs. Now these are gonna come from the backside through these holes here, just like that. And then on the front side, we're gonna be installing our retaining clips. These are gonna slide over just to hold everything in place and make sure it doesn't fall backwards when we're trying to install it onto the truck. And then we'll do that same thing on the other side. Now we can install the brackets onto our frame. Now these are labeled with a D or a P for driver or passenger. So we're gonna smack that down on top and then we're gonna take one of our bolts and a flat washer. We're gonna put it down through the hole and then on the bottom, we're gonna do another flat washer and a lock nut.
And now once we have all of our bolts in place, we can take a 19 millimeter wrench on the bolt side and a 19 millimeter socket on the nut side to tighten these down. And then we'll do that same thing on the other side. So now once we have both of our brackets installed, we're ready to install our bumper. Now those two posts that we installed onto our bumper are gonna slide through the top and bottom holes on either side, and then we can go back under the truck and start getting our hardware installed. So now with our bumper laid on, we can take our flat washers these are gonna be the bigger of the two washers. And then we can install our locking nuts. And then we can take a 19 millimeter socket on an impact gun to tighten these down. And then we can do the same thing on the other side. Now we can connect the bracket that we installed to our frame to the bumper. Now it's gonna be pretty hard to see, but we have our stud that we're gonna slide through the hole. And then on the other side, we're gonna put a flat washer. And then our locking nut. And then we can tighten that down using a 19 millimeter socket with a swivel socket and an extension. And then we can do that same thing on the other side. Now we can reinstall the harness for our hitch. And now we can reconnect the harness for our license plate lights. And then we'll press this red tab down to lock it into place. And now we can reconnect the harness for our license plate lights. And now once we have this side plugged in, we can do the same thing on the other side. Now our last step is to install the two clips for our license plate. These are just gonna press right in. So that'll wrap up this review and install of the Body Armor 4x4 rear bumper for your 2020 and newer Jeep Gladiator JT. Thank you for watching, and for all things Gladiator, keep it right here at ExtremeTerrain.com.